cerebral palsy is normally caused by some kind of physical accident could have been happened in the womb, outside the womb. Johan had a medical accident, so at birth he had major seizures and his clavicle was broken. He physically cannot help himself at all, though he understands all commands. He wants to learn, but he physically just hasn't got the you know, ability to do it on his own. Since the birth of their son, Johan, Carbano di Rosario and her husband, Walter, have done all they physically could to care for him. But at 19, Johan is not the little kid he once was, and bathing him became a challenge. So Carbano called United Cerebral Palsy of New York City. We provide all kinds of services. We provide housing, we provide medical services, we provide day habilitation, programming. And through state funding, UCP recently ventured into Queens with its access to home program, installing everything from handrails to ramps to stair glides. It's just amazing visiting people, seeing them in their own environment, and then knowing that the work that I'm doing is going to help them to stay in that environment and stay at home with their families. The De Rosarios were one of the first two families in Queens to benefit from the program. In their case, UCP provided $25,000 worth of construction to make Johan's bathroom more accessible. A long overdue renovation, Carbanu said. He's become too big for us to put through a 36-inch door. He's 5'9". So you have to carry him kind of horizontally. Like this, and then carried like this, and then <laughs> yeah. It's like an obstacle race. The bathroom is extremely small, and this is a shower chair that exists there now. So this is going to be all relocated, moved back, and increased in size. It's also humiliating for him. He understands. I think this is like, it's really sad for the person who's trapped in there. This is kind of you opening a door for them to live a normal life. Over the course of a few weeks this spring, contractors transformed the De Rosario's Rigo Park apartment. He likes the room and he's very excited about it and he was like very fascinated with everything new. That's how big it's become. You can get lost in there. <laughs> it's huge. UCP also installed the tracking system on Johan's ceiling, making it easier to transport him into his wheelchair and into the bathroom. Anybody can take him in for a shower, not only my husband. Previously, only my husband could do it. Because he was strong, he was only Yeah, he was the only one who could carry him. My mom's been fighting for, like, forever, Sam, because, like, to get him, like, a wheelchair, to get him all the things he needs. It's like, it, to t it took so many years just to get some one bathroom, like, remodeled. When the moment it was finished, it was like, thank God to UCP. But Kurbanu also thanks God for her daughter, who she says has catered to Johan's needs her entire life. She's like a second mom. <laughs> she's unbelievable with him. Yeah, she's phenomenal. Because, I mean, she's been born into this. To her, there's no, he has no differences. Her whole life re revolves around him. She's given up everything in life for him. I really am attached to my brother. It's like I can never like let my brother go. It's like in a way when you really think about it, if I go off to college, how am I supposed to go off to college when I just can't leave my brother? I always like just to be as by his side. If he needs help, I'll always be there. Likewise, Kurbanu would like to be by Johan's side as long as physically possible. And she said she's grateful for UCP's support. I wanted to cry. It's a phenomenal feeling and it's fabulous. It's really, really like God sent. I mean, I really keep thanking them and I hope it really works out for my son. Sorry.